Hello, hello, YTPC, I'm Terry Herfer, and I am back again, still smoking my freshly refinished bowl, new bowl for my Falcon, with the Crown Royal Apple Infused Blue Danube. And it's not too shabby. I am back to do a VR for Tall As Piper. Golly, Tall As, you have 100 subs. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that. And uh, I think you said you got those in the last two months. And sir, if you don't realize it, it the reason that you have 100 subs, well, you have more than 100 now, is because you have a great channel. So you shouldn't be surprised at all. I'm not surprised. So, there's a few questions that he wanted us to answer for, um, for his giveaway. His golly. And the first one is what started um, started us our journey on the YTPC. Well, first of all, I, I was I watched videos for a number of months before I even, didn't even think about doing a video. I was just looking for information and uh, the best way to you know to pack a pipe and and how to I don't know etiquette pipe etiquette. Um, you know there. There's cigar etiquette, and there's certain ways that you do certain things with a cigar, to be sure. But I think with a pipe, it's um, a little bit more intricate than a cigar. And yeah, I didn't want to look like a fool when I go <laughs> go out and about. And I wanted to learn how to pack it. A pipe better and how to how to you know to do the lighting better so that I would have a better you know experience and enjoy the pipe so I wouldn't uh, you know possibly give up on it so I watched for a while and then there was a peaches 13 that had a, a giveaway and I really enjoyed watching the peaches <clears throat> I think they were first of all they have a great channel and they're fun and uh, it's a husband and wife team which also you know drew me to their channel and you know with um, with on a being a woman pipe smoker that made me want to watch even more so there's not like tons of us out there and um, I've actually only come across one other woman out um, at a brick and mortar who was smoking a pipe and it was at the last pipe club I was at it was this month and uh, she came there with her husband and it was actually her first first experience with the pipe so and I was glad to meet her and so they were they won the um, the Dagner's mega giveaway and they decided to share their to share their winnings and had had a giveaway and I thought well I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it I don't care how dumb I sound or or whatever I'm just gonna do it and I did the video I did it in one take and if you ever have watched have watched it or please don't go watch it it was horrible it was embarrassing you and I laughed and said it would be a great a, a great video for a drinking game because I said um so many times that I mean somebody would have passed out by the end of the video it was it was that bad but that's what made me do my first video so thanks to the Peachy 13 for that. So <clears throat> I'm really, I'm really glad that I did. And I, I really, actually, he couldn't believe that I, I put that video up. It was that bad. And then I think that for Desert Island pipe, I would most definitely choose one of my Morgan bones, probably the stubby ants. And the reason being is, I mean, you can knock you can knock those pipes around, and they're they're pretty rugged. The the bowl's very thick on mine. Uh, the shank is 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 pretty hefty. Um, I, I think it would last a long time. I wouldn't have to worry about breaking it as much, and I just think that it would it would fare pretty well for for a long time. So I, I think I would take that. And as for a blend, I could only take one blend with me. It's a crossover blend, so I guess I would get a little of both worlds. I think I would choose my shortcut to mushrooms. 
I still really like that blend. It doesn't have quite enough Latakia in it for me at this point, but I think I would still choose that one. And then our, our white uh, our white whale tobacco. There's a lot of tobaccos out there that I haven't tried yet, and that's not a bad thing. I think that's a challenge. I just I just put down a challenge for myself. <laughs> it um I think it would have to be. I mean I I've I think I've tried what three three McClellan's blends that have been. Uh, gifted some samples and I mostly I very very much appreciate those but I, I, I think so far Frogmorton Cellars is my, my favorite of faves. Um, I haven't been able to come across a ton of that yet. Maybe someday I will. But I think it would have to be the... Uh, no, I don't know. Christmas cheer. That would be the one, Christmas cheer. I haven't tried that one and I would like to. I think that would be great. So anyway, there's other ones I wanna to try too, but that would be the one that I would have to choose on, on top of my list. Now we're supposed to give a couple shout outs. I wrote these down so I didn't forget. Um, a central pipe smoker is under 100 subs and he is a, a nice guy. Uh, he, I kind of feel like when I'm watching his videos that doesn't have a lot of them out there yet, but I think it's going to go out again, but I kind of feel like I'm just sitting across the table from him and he's just talking to me or, you know, just here, here, I got something to talk about. Here it is. It's almost like he dropped by. You're sitting there having a cup of coffee with him and, you know, it was it's kind of nice, you know, that's a nice thing. I like that. So he has under hundred subs. I think when I looked, he was under 80. And then um, I recently also found somebody that I, I really enjoy watching. He's a dog lover, and it is Pipe Smoking Preacher. He's under 100 subs as well. I think he is from California. What's his dog's name? I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. Oh, yeah, Austin. That's right. Border Collie Mix. Cute dog. Really cute dog. So, he is a, a preacher at a, uh, at a small parish. He talks about that, he talks about pipe smoking, and really has, he has a number of videos, and, and he's uh, very enjoyable to watch. So, check those two individuals out, and uh, maybe give them a sub. So, I guess that's all I got for you, and actually I wanted to say that I, I I coated this instead of carnauba wax, I used beeswax that I had for my um, my bowstring. I thought, I'm going to just try it and see what happens. And I was worried that when the bowl got warm, and it is warm out today too, that it might kind of melt in my hand and get kind of gunky and sticky and kind of just wear off a little bit, but it hasn't. I'm really surprised and I'm happily surprised actually. I like the idea of using, of using beeswax and I have a ton of it. so. There you go. So anyway, you guys have a good evening. I will catch you on the next one. Go out and sub a newbie and maybe sub these two guys that I just talked about. You guys have a good one.